it's hot, it's dusty, and we're at altitude. Those things combined probably make this the toughest course of the year. And after that fiery round five in Lenzerheide, we're back racing only a week later. And it's short track night, Friday night. The riders have had varying degrees of altitude training. So I think this is going to be the first indication of whether there is a magical ingredient to racing when the air is thin. The Mercedes-Benz UCI Cross Country World Cup returned to Val Nor Andorra for the first time in three years for round six. Australia's Rebecca McConnell led the XCC overall World Cup from consistent Swiss rider Alessandra Keller and Jenny Risfeds in third after her win in Lenzerheide saw her rise from eighth. With temperatures reaching 33 degrees Celsius and the thinner air at 1,901 meters above sea level, the race looked to be attritional from the start. And we are green then. And there's our oh, Risveds getting caught up on the side of the track there. Sweden's Jenny Risved missed a clip straight out of the gate, impacting French XCC champion Pauline Ferrand Prevot to put them behind from the start. As Austria's short track national champion Lara Stieger took the initiative. Linda Indigan took the lead on lap three, with 2018 winner from Val Nor, Alessandra Keller, close behind. As they pushed the pace, a leading group emerged, Anna Terpstra amongst them. Rebecca McConnell, who had decided not to do altitude training, moved up to third. On lap four, Keller started to push the pace. It's now Keller who's pushing hard here on this climb. Going into the penultimate lap, she and Swiss compatriot Indigand opened up a gap, looking like it was a battle for third between McConnell and Anne Terpstra. On the climb, Keller rode away from Indigand. But with a surprise burst of speed, McConnell was on the move again. And there is Rebecca McConnell. And look, she's fighting back, I think. After Keller took a fall, the pack tightened again. It was all looking close going into the last three corners as Keller, Terpstra and overall leader McConnell battled it out for the win. Sprinting towards the line, I think Keller's going to get this one. Alessandra Keller takes her second win here in Andorra. Terpstra comes across the line in second, Rebecca McConnell in third place. In again, 12 seconds back, Stigger, a brilliant fifth place for the Austrian. I crashed actually in the last uh, lap and fell on my knee and then they closed the gap again and then I had to go all in. But I guess they also had to go full gas to catch me and then I had a little, a little more power and yeah. Andorra has always been a super good place to me, especially in short track. Uh, it was my first win ever and now it's my second. Uh, super cool. A second career short track win for Keller in Andorra. Anna Terpstra equaled her best result of the season over the shorter distance with second. McConnell, Indigan and Stiga rounded out the top five. There were five different nationalities in total. So Rebecca McConnell and Alessandra Keller are now tied on points at the top of the standings. But it's McConnell's superior results record that means she carries the leader's jersey into the USA. Anna Terpstra's second place finish boosts her from sixth to third. After an eventful weekend in Lenzerheide, Matthias Flugiger came into the weekend leading the XCC standings. South Africa's Alan Haverley was in second, courtesy of two podium finishes in the short track this season. Filippo Colombo got his first ever World Cup win in Lenzerheide and will be looking to continue his impressive form of late. And his compatriot, a fired up Nino Schurter, is always a threat. We are go, go, go! Daskalu slips a pedal in the middle there and instantly falls back. Flukiger looking like he's first into yeah. that turn. The triple Colombo to a boat oh. from Switzerland, boat a good start. Switzerland's Matthias Flukiger sprinted into an early lead and set a ferocious pace stringing out the field. But it wasn't long before his countryman, Thomas Litcher, having recovered from both COVID and a broken rib, took up the mantle, powering up the first climb. Litcher taking the lead. Lifting the pace now. By lap four of seven, a group of seven went off the front. Nino Schurta leading the charge to close the gap. Last week's Olympic distance winner from Lenzerheide, Luca Bleidot, moved into the front and attacked, heading into the pump track. Wow, this is a sprint yes, from Luca Braido. So Braido goes on lap five. Flugiger knows it's time now. They've got to go with him. 
Rydot continued to open the gap to Flukiger, who equally was pulling away from Haverly in third. But drama. Is that ah, Brado's got a problem? Chain Chains off. are off. Chain off for Luca Brado. It's what? not Matthias Flukiger who is leading. Wow, what a crazy place for a chain to drop. Flukiger inherited the lead, closely followed by Haverly and Vlad Daskalou. It looked like it was between the three of them for the win. And Matthias Flukiger surely is going to get it. He takes a look under his shoulder there. Matthias Flukiger comes up to win his fourth short track World Cup race. Haverly crosses the line in second. Daskalou, third place for the Romanian. It's about six in uh, the night and uh, it's still warm and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just emotion. I just want to win. Matthias Flukiger takes the win, holding off Alan Haverly and Vlad Daskalou with a return to the short track podium after his crash in the XCO in Lenzerheide. Thomas Litcher's early race promise turned into a fourth place finish and Francis Jordan Saru rounded off the top five. An emotional Matthias Flukiger retains the leader's jersey. Vlad Daskalou rises from 10th to 7th after his impressive ride and Nino Schurter drops down to fifth after he could only manage 15th today. And Dora delivered. I don't think we've seen such good short track racing all season. And what a start to the weekend for Matthias Flukiger and Alessandra Keller, both from the Thomas Maxim team, both with World Cup wins. Now, the interesting thing about Matthias is whenever he's gone to win a short track, He's then got on Sunday and won the Olympic distance as well. So I guess you guys better join us then and let's find out if he can do it.